Hi, and welcome to another lesson for beginning ukulele. Today we're going to help get you introduced to understanding and getting uh, familiar with musical notations. Now if you see on the board behind me, uh, you see the letters G, C, E, A. G, C, E, A. Those are your open strings of ukulele. And every time you tune your ukulele, you have to tune them to these notes. G, C, E, A. Now corresponding to them are your musical notes on the musical staff. So right above the, the letters G, C, E, A, right above them are your musical notes on how they actually look on music sheet. And uh, from this point, it's best to start getting familiar with uh, how to understand and recognize music and the way they look. And the best way to do it is to start with the open strings that you have to do with basically every day uh, when you tune your ukulele. Because you have to tune them to the notes G, C, E, A when you're using a tuner. So you might as well start learning what they kind of look like on paper. And another good way of doing this is every time you open up your syllabus, okay? You're gonna find that there's a picture of a musical staff at the top of your syllabus on almost every single page. Now, if you look very closely, it is the same picture as that. So, let me explain a couple of things. What you wanna do every time you open up your syllabus is you just wanna take a few seconds out and make a mental notation on at least one of the notes. For instance, every time you look at your top of your syllabus, look at the G note and notice that it's on the second line above the first line. So it's the first line and it sits right there on the second line and that's your G note. And that's what your G note looks like every time you tune your ukulele. And then maybe the next time you uh, uh, do a lesson, you open up your syllabus, look at the top and you see a C note and this is located one line below the bottom line and it's on its own line and that's the C note. By the way the C note is a middle C on your piano so if you have a piano at home that's what it is the middle C right there. Okay. Uh, and then the same goes for your last notes. E is actually on that bottom line right here. Then A is located right on that second space there's your first space, second space. So A is right on that second space. So you want to be um, utilizing that musical notation at, at the top of your syllabus. Every time you open it up, just take a note, a mental note, and notice where the notes are located on the music, and start just associating uh, the open strings of your ukulele to those notes. And then, this is important for uh, you folks that are going to continue uh, playing music, playing ukulele, uh, as, as a learner and a student, it, by, the more information you have, the more resources you have, the farther you're going to go musically. Uh, this is especially important if you're planning on taking uh, my courses that follow this beginning ukulele. In fact, all of the courses that follow this beginning ukulele course has something to do with learning how to read music and eventually uh, it leads up into the more advanced courses of understanding music, music theory, music structure, writing music, how to figure music out. But uh, this is the, the very basic of getting you familiar, getting you uh, introduced to, to just understanding music. If you already know how to read music, this is probably pretty um, simple for you and um, you may be needing more advanced uh, training or uh, lessons which do come up in the um, upcoming courses that's available. So once again, uh, every time you open up your syllabus, uh, take note of the notes that are uh, located at the top there of your syllabus and just try to pick up one thing every time you do a lesson pick one thing out that you can memorize or get familiar with okay so when you're ready 
to uh, move on to the next lesson. We shall see you there.